New plans to help the homeless in downtown Fort Lauderdale. A mission underway to move dozens of people who have set up camp outside the library there. And the group is trying to meet everyone's needs, Lori. But a lot of people are there and city leaders say they are just hoping that this will be a permanent solution to a huge problem. Local 10 News reporter Laren Livingston live in Fort Lauderdale to detail what's being done. Laren. And just to give you some perspective, we're talking about 75 to 100 people who come to this particular part of downtown Fort Lauderdale on any given day, set up their tents, set up their cots, their mats here. This is their home in essence. And of course, all of them have their own unique individual needs and not everybody is keen on leaving here. But organizers of this initiative say they've been planning for months and they say this place is not safe and that they've come up with the solution that they feel is the best for the folks here especially when it comes to helping them find a permanent place to live not just for the people we rescued both of them but for their pets too they were able to get um, microchips put into them they were able to get shots they didn't have their dewormer pills all of that rick and his wife kim seemed more grateful their dogs were getting help the couple's been living out of a tent for the past six months outside the Broward Main Library. They just learned they're moving. I think it's for the best. Thanks to more than 40 public and private organizations, nonprofits, and businesses coming together to address homelessness in Broward County, starting with this encampment in downtown Fort Lauderdale. We want to help these people have a better life, and the first thing to allow them some dignity is to provide them shelter. Which means there's also help packing and storing their belongings, health screenings for the whole family, including the furry ones, and other service providers, all on hand to make sure it's a smooth transition. Why now? Because we have the resources to do it. Rebecca McGuire with the Broward Homeless Initiative Partnership says the planning started in April. Delicate work, but work that has to be done. Yes, there's mental health issues. Yes, there's substance abuse issues. We're prepared to deal with that. The end goal to help people, not just the homeless from this encampment, but others from across the city and the county. Just getting back into a place like we always have and we'll be fine. And we're still waiting on an official count as to how many people took advantage of today's services. And of course, that will be going on for the next coming days and weeks, I'm told. But earlier this afternoon, we heard at least about seven or eight folks had taken advantage of the services had moved out today. And those folks were told were taken shopping for food, clothing. They were provided hygiene kits. They were also assigned case managers so that the support that began here today continues into their transition into those new homes. We'll keep you posted on the process. Like I said, it's supposed to take a few weeks out. For now, we're live here in Fort Lauderdale. Larry Livingston, Local 10 News. It's so important to get those people the help they need.